Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a little bit of a strange box and you can see here it has like a lot of sort of trails or markings on the box. Now this is, you can see this all the way round and if I show you this here, this shows cigar. Now this is not actually a cigar. This is a pen. So let me open this sort of paper box and I will show you what is inside. This is a lovely Palmina wood uh, box and this is a Nakaya. So I decided that I was going to buy a couple of Nakaya Yurushi pens. This is one of them. And I will show you this. I will lift the lid on this box. And it comes with a Nakaya long cigar. And this is in Heki Tamanori. Now, if I just remove this platform here to start with, you'll see a number of things. First off, you get a platinum converter. Now, Nakaya is a branch of platinum. So... They do use the same nibs, they do use the same converters, they do use the same cartridges. What you also get as well is this, and you get an adapter for a, and you can see the adapter here, for, and it says here for European size ink cartridge, because these actually use Japanese style cartridges. And you do get a box of blue black cartridges, and you get I believe 10. Yes, you do. So if I just remove one of these, you will see that this is the Japanese style converter. And this is blue black ink. And you will see there. Uh, and you get 10 in this box. Uh, now, I don't normally use cartridges. So uh, I will just leave that there in the box. Um, and if I just put the box lid back on, and you will see this lovely Yurushi pen. And this is the uh, Nakaya Long Cigar. And this is in Hak Heki Tamanuri. So this is a sort of reddish-brown color um, Yurushi pen. But it has a sort of a, a reddish-brown over green. So you can see here that has a difference of Yurushi colors there. It's a really lovely pen in terms of the look uh, and the feel of it. It is Yurushi. Uh, Yurushi is actually quite hard. It's very glossy. Uh, so it, it is a very uh, sort of smooth feeling pen. Yurushi tends to feel a little bit more soft. Um, uh, not soft as in the sense of that the pen is sort of that you can squeeze it, but it, it tends to feel more softer than, say, acrylic or resin. Now, if I unscrew the cap here, you will see the lovely Nakaya nib there, and this is a hard medium, or a regular medium nib. And then you see here that you've got the brown here and with the underlying green in it. Now, this is Heki Tamanuri. Now, Unfortunately, I ordered this from Iguana Cell in Spain because they are one of the Nakaya distributors and I asked for what they consider a flex medium, which is effectively a soft medium. And unfortunately, they sent me a hard medium or a regular medium. Uh, when I say a hard medium, because this is a platinum style nib, platinum nibs are normally very hard. They are really like nails. So, unfortunately, I have been battling with Iguana Cell to try and get this nib swapped over. Uh, unfortunately, they cannot. They, they ran out of stock, so uh, and they listed the stock incorrectly, they tell me. And, unfortunately, they don't have any more stock. They will have to request a new pen, which will take about three months, uh, because Nakaya do not make nibs uh, as, as separate orders. So... Unfortunately, I'm stuck with this nib at the moment. Uh, but as soon as that, uh, what they 
the iguana cell claim is a flex medium, which is not a flex nib, it's a soft medium, then this pen will be returned and I will uh, have that nib swapped over. And then I'll probably do another review of this later on when I hopefully get the soft medium nib there. But you can see this nib um, and it does come with the uh, sort of feed there that you can see. I believe this is uh, an ABS plastic feed. I don't think it's uh, ebonite. It doesn't look ebonite to me. Now, the Nakaya pens, I will show you. Let me zoom out a little bit. All come with cartridge converters, as you saw earlier. So this is a converter that comes with it, and uh, you get metal threads. In theory, you probably could have eyedropped that. I wouldn't because of the metal threads. Uh, so that's just one thing to bear in mind. I do like the length of this. This is a really long pen. Uh, I probably, when I actually ordered it, didn't realize how long it was going to be. And you'll see this in a, in a little while when I show you a comparison with other pens. It is a very light pen, and I do like the size in my hand. Can I post the cap? I can. But it becomes a massive wand. And because it's Yurushi, I'm not going to want to because that will ultimately mark that pen. Or Well, it probably won't because Yurushi as a surface is actually quite hard. But I just still don't want to risk it. And, and I don't post my caps. So for me, I, it's not something that I would want to do. Now, you can see here in terms of the cap, you can see that lovely sort of underlying green there. Uh, that is sort of on that sort of cap rim and then you have the threads inside and then it matches with this green that we have here as well and you can see that the section is a little bit more lighter there so unfortunately this came with the wrong nib and I am battling with iguana cell to try and get that replaced um I'm hoping I can get it replaced. If not, this pen will be going back, unfortunately, because uh, I do not like platinum hard nibs. And I know some people do, but uh, I could journal with this nib quite nicely, uh, maybe on an, an A5 notepad, but I can't write letters with it. I, I prefer a bounce in a nib, even the slightest bounce. And these are really, really hard nibs. And I have... A platinum 3776 in the Chartre Blur, and I find exactly the same on that as well. So, although this is a it does say Nakaya there, and it's a 14 cat gold nib um, 585, uh, the symbol under 14 cat is just basically medium, which is a hard medium. So, hopefully, I can get this nib swapped out uh, by Iguana Cell and eventually get hold of a new nib and get the writing experience that I actually wanted. Uh, unfortunately, though, I'm going to have to ship it back internationally, which is a pain. Um, but uh, And obviously, wait up to three months for it as well. Maybe it will come in a lot sooner uh, than three months, but uh, I'm uh, not sort of hedging any bets there. So th this is a really nice pen. I do like the Yurushi. Uh, I do like the... It's a Nakaya. Uh, I got this for a good price. It was a, a good price. It was in the sale. And uh, unfortunately, though, they just had listed the, the wrong nibs uh, that they had in stock. And although they want to sell, uh, take 24 hours to ship, they don't ship the same day. Uh, they send you an email saying they're checking over the pen and checking over the nib. And unfortunately, they still sent the wrong nib. So, uh Quite a disappointing uh, experience I had there with Iguana Cell, and, and I've been battling for uh, at least a couple of weeks trying to get them to exchange this nib. So that's my experience, unfortunately. It wasn't a great customer experience, but unfortunately you win some and you lose some. And uh, uh, I guess I lost some on, on this, this pen purchase. Um, now, it does also come in this lovely uh, kimono as well, which I didn't show. Um, so it will come in this pouch. So I have had it out, and uh, this is how it would uh, arrive if I just 
sort of tie this up and put that in there like so. That's how uh, you, you will also get that kimono with the pen, uh, but I did actually have it out uh, on my desk recently. So you do also actually have uh, the Japanese there. So a nice kimono pouch. Uh, I, I like it a lot. Um, uh, I tend to use uh, some rickshaw bags, uh, pen sleeves uh, for my Yurushi pens. So uh, I, I tend not to use that kimono uh, if I'm carrying it in my bag. So I think with that, let's do a size check. We'll do a weight check. We'll do a pen comparison and then we'll do a writing sample. So the length of the pen, we are looking at 167 millimeters in length and the length of the cap, we are looking at 80 millimeters in length. So this is a long pen, hence the name Long Cigar. The length of the body, we are looking at 145 millimeters in length. So again, that is a very, very long pen, uh, definitely oversized. Uh, I normally rate uh, an oversized pen around 128 millimeters in length. So 145 millimeters is quite long. But I think let's do a weight check. So I'm gonna have to hold this pen here because it's gonna roll, because it's got no clip. The length, the weight of the pen is just over 27 grams. The weight of the cap, we're looking at just under six and a half grams. And then I'm gonna probably have to hold the pen here. Maybe I can just get away with it. It's just over 19 grams. And obviously this is inked up uh, with a converter. So I think with that, let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have a Platinum 3776 in the Chartres Bleu. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero in the Mediterraneo Celluloid. A Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande in the Sand. A Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. We have the Nakaya Long Cigar in the Hecky Tamanuri finish. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Swirl, a Visconti Medici Il Magnifico, a Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust, a Visconti Speakeasy, and a London Pen Company, the Christopher in Aranoid Caramel. And you can just see that this long cigar does not fit in my pen tray. Well, maybe I could just about push it in there, but that is a really, really tight fit. So I think let's go into a writing sample. So this is the Nakaya, and it's the Long Cigar. And this is a medium Honestly, it's a hard medium, but I'll give it a medium. Uh, and it's in the uh, Hecky. Oops. I don't know why I'm starting that with a K. Hecky Tamanori. Um, and it's a 14 carat gold nib. Now, the ink in here today is Diamine. And it's ochre, which is a nice brown ink. Now, this is an Asian medium nib. So this is going to write like a Western fine. Now, I am trying to push as hard as I can here. And you're really not getting any line variation. So these nibs, like you're getting a little bit, but not a lot. These nibs are really, really hard. They are as hard as a nail. And I do prefer a little bit of bounce in my nibs. Now, in terms of wetness, let's have a look. And we'll do a horizontal pass. 
So this is a dry nib. And honestly, I do prefer more wetter nibs. So for me, I, I am hoping I can get this nib exchanged and get a medium flex nib. Although it's not a flex nib, it's, it's a medium soft nib, but Iguana Cell lists it as a flex nib, which, which is wrong. It, it's, it really is a soft medium nib. Um, what do I like and what do I not like about the pen? I, I like it's a Nakaya. I love that it's Hiroshi. Um, I love this sort of, uh, sort of brownish, sort of almost sort of terracotta reddish brown color with the underlying green there. Um, I love the 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 color of the section. I like the look of the nib. Um, I like the pen length and. Uh, I like that it's a converter as well. Uh, it's easy to, to re-ink and it's easy to clean. Uh, obviously, what I don't like is, is that I had ordered the medium soft nib and it came with the wrong nib. Uh, that's not a problem of Nikaya. That's a problem of Iguana Cell. And hopefully they will rectify that. Uh, or the pen will be going back and I'll be getting a refund. Uh, so for me, I like the pen. I'm like... I just don't like the nib, and and it is what it is. Um, I did get uh, another pen with a, a soft medium nib or medium soft nib, and that writes very nicely and, and writes how I want it to write. So that's why I'm hoping that I can get this nib replaced by Iguana Cell. If not, then I will get a refund. Uh, but that's my review of the Nakaya Long Cigar. Uh, with a medium 14 karat gold. Uh, this is in the Heki Tamanuri. And uh, I like the pen a lot. Um, I just am not that keen on the uh, very hard platinum Nakaya style nibs that really do write like a nail. And being a 14 karat gold nib, I expect a little bit more softness or bounciness to it. But I know a lot of people love Nakayas because of those nibs. And uh, I guess it's just uh, sort of, I prefer more bouncy nibs. So that's my review of the Nakaya Long Cigar. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.